What's good to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world? This is your boy Jehoshaphat, and I just had my topic for today. But today would be more like congratulations. You know what I'm saying? It'd be more like a congratulations because I want to take this special time out to thank two different groups of people. Now, I would like to thank all the black people who said that Fat Boy Fish was not black enough. I would like to thank y'all for this very reason because without you, I was doomed to follow that coon mentality and hate myself and hate my people. So by your hate of me and your, your prejudice of me and your criticism of me made me love myself even more. Oh, oh black, oh, you're not black enough. You, oh, you're using the educate words. You are black. black. People don't talk like that. Just because I want to, just because I want to be educated, I gotta, I gotta be a white person. Oh, oh, fat. Oh, you going to school today? You ain't ditching. Oh my God, fat got his pants pulled up. He ain't trying to sag or thug or nothing. He got his books. He got his paper. He, he's there early. Just because I want to make something of myself that makes me lesser than a black man. So I want to thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to thank y'all for y'all treatment and me coming up in the world because without your hatred for fat boy I wouldn't be standing here now you know what I'm saying I wouldn't have the matcha you know what I'm saying to be sitting before you and talking you know what I'm saying I would have that you know what I'm saying that hate built me up to be the person that I am now now the second group of people I would like to thank is racist white people now racist white people they told me I was black every day they call me an uh, n-word every single day it's Monday you're still an n Tuesday you are still an n Wednesday you're still an n you know what I'm saying you are still an n you cannot escape this you know what I'm saying I like you because you were an n you know what I'm saying if you was not an n you might be a good person so I want to take this special time to thank all the racist white people for your hatred of my people if you didn't hate black people so much maybe i wouldn't love myself if you didn't hate black people so much i would not love myself you know what i'm saying i told y'all on several different pro uh, several different shows of the programming that's fed to to young black people old black people you know what i'm saying you just can't assume that black people just naturally hate themselves that would be stupid right you know what I'm saying? That would be a stupid assessment right there. But anytime, anytime I be around racist white people, they let me know exactly who I am, what my what I am, and what they feel about me. You know what I'm saying? And without they hatred, without they hatred for black people, I don't know if I would be sitting here talking to you now. Because the hatred that they had, they have for my people built me up to be the man that I am now I love my people I love my black beautiful people of America I love myself you know what I'm saying now back to my people I, you know what I'm saying brothers and sisters and I, th this is not for everybody I'm just talking about the ones who treated me this way if it wasn't for you calling me a white boy and just because oh oh fat oh he he going to the the honor roll class? Oh, he he think he white. He think he a white boy. He he go home and he do his homework right after school? Oh, he must be a white boy. I thank y'all for this, y'all, because if y'all didn't have hate for yourself and hate for me at the same time, maybe I would be one of them coons walking around talking about I hate myself and I hate my people. You see them people outside all the time, y'all. You see them, you know what I'm saying? You recognize them, you know what I'm saying? But this is fat boy time just to thank these two groups of people because without y'all, I would not be the man that I am now. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. White people, you told me, racist white people, they told me I was an N-word every day. You know what I'm saying? They fueled, they fueled my hatred. You know what I'm saying? The same thing with my own people. I have something to say to you. What is it? And, and this is saying, y'all, what is it? Does it hurt more when it comes from your people or does it hurt more when it comes out from an outside influence? I'll let you be the judge of that. Now, I got one more thing I want to say before I go in and get up out of here. And it's a question that I ask anybody who loves God. You know what I'm saying? I ask them this question. If if the devil offered you all your wishes, 
anything that you never had in this life and he said that you can have these things in hell would you go down there to be with him you know what I'm saying if, if everything that God says that he has for you his promises everything that he has for you if the devil promised you the same thing and you get to party and smoke your drugs and have your little fondication whatever you like you know what I'm saying whatever your wishes is if the devil offered you this in hell would you go down there to be with him this is your boy fat boy fish with my talk for today black power black love black pride to all my people in the world this is your boy fat boy fish i'm out